Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prajwal from Indie Crypto, and inside this video, I'll show you how to sell your cryptos on CoinEx. Now, this is a continuation video for my other two videos in this series of CoinEx. The first video is where I discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages of using CoinEx. The second video was uh, about how to trade your cryptos on CoinEx, where I basically show you showed you how to uh, buy Ethereum on CoinEx. Now, uh, I got a lot of questions after that on that particular video regarding various stuff uh, about CoinEx. So I'll be covering most of the questions and I'll also show you how to sell uh, your cryptos on CoinEx, which was one of the, the biggest or most asked questions on, uh, on YouTube on my channel. Okay, the first thing is uh, a lot of people think that uh, I work for CoinEx or I'm affiliated with CoinEx in, um, in some way. Uh, I'm not guys, I'm just like you. I'm uh, just a cryptocurrency enthusiast, just like you. And uh, I just wanted to share my knowledge on my experience of cryptocurrency with you. That's the reason I started this channel. So I'm not, uh, well, I'm not an employee of CoinEx I'm, or I'm not related to CoinEx in any way. I'm just another user like you, okay? And uh, the second thing is a lot of people ask uh, about the account number because CoinEx have started using a unique account number system uh, for deposits of Indian rupees to uh, their account. Now, uh, a lot of people start asking that their banks don't allow alphanumeric uh, bank account numbers because these unique account numbers are alphanumeric. Now, if, uh, you might have to get in touch with your bank for this because the bank I use allows us to use alphanumeric code or there's a different way to transfer funds to this particular bank. So you might have to get in touch with your bank, explain them the situation that uh, here is an alphanumeric account number, how can we go ahead and add it as beneficiary and transfer funds? So your banks are the best people to answer that particular question, okay? And uh, the third thing is a lot of people ask me on uh, to make a video on how to sell cryptos on, on CoinEx. So here I am doing the video, okay? So buying and selling is very similar uh, in, in CoinEx, okay? So here I have some Ethereum at the moment, so I'll go ahead and explain on uh, how to sell crypto or how to sell Ethereum in this case on CoinEx, okay? As you can see here, I have around uh, 0 0.099559 uh, Ethers in my wallet, Ethereum wallet. You can go and check that in the balances as well on your account. Now, if I wanna sell uh, 0 0.009 uh, 0 0.0995 ethers okay I'm not sure if it's going to allow so I'll just go ahead and uh, sell 0 0.099 ethers okay now if you can you can see the buy orders here and the sell orders here and the trade history so let me quickly go through this as well now here is somebody who wants or who's ready to buy ethereums or ethers uh, for 36,300 rupees. So he's ready to buy 2.309 ethers, okay, with a price of 36,300. That's the cost of one ether, okay? And here is somebody who's ready to buy 0.05 ether for 36,281 rupees, okay? So this is the cost of one Ethereum or one Ether. One Ether is going to cost 36,300. And if he's going to buy 2.309, uh, so you'll have to multiply this. 2.309 into 36,300 is the total cost of this order. Okay. So if somebody wants to buy one Ethereum at this price, you would have to place an order like that. Okay. Now here... Similarly for sell orders, somebody has uh, 5.873 Ethereums that he wants to sell 
for 36,488 for each ether. Okay. Similarly, the trade history here, it shows what are the recent trades that have happened. So somebody has sold 0 0.01 Ethereum here for 36,310. So he would have received 3,631 rupees for this particular order. Okay. So that's how uh, it, it works. The same goes for other trades here as well. Okay. Now, the two ways to sell Ethereum on Coinex here. The first way is to sell your Ethereum instantly. How do we do that? Now, once you have entered the value, so whatever balance you have here will be listed here. This uh, area is for sell and this area is for buy. So whatever balance of crypto you have will be listed here. The same goes when you uh, select other cryptos as well. If you go to Bitcoin, it'll show the BTC balance here. If you go to Ripple, it'll show XRP balance. Litecoin will show LTC balance. Okay. So in this case, I have selected the tab for Ethereum. So here it will show it is showing my, my balance of Ethereum here. So once I've entered the value, it automatically shows the highest bid here. Okay. As you can see here, it's 36,300 which is the price reflecting here on the buy orders. Okay. Now, if you want to sell my Ethereum instantly, I would have to go ahead and use the same price that's shown here and click on sell. It will ask me for the confirmation. If you click on confirm, the order is going to get executed instantly. Why is that? Because there's already somebody waiting to buy Ethereum for that price. Okay, so that's the first way of selling your uh, crypto on uh, Coinex. The second way is to bid for the price that you want. Say in this case, for example, I want to sell my Ethereum for 37,000. Okay, so when I click on sell and uh, okay, let me take a different price here. Let me uh, scan through this uh, sell orders here. Say I'm going to put a price for uh, 36,601. Okay, so that's the price I want to sell this amount of Ethereum for. Okay, so I'm going to bid a price of 36,601. So keep a look here. The price here is 36,600 and after that the price is 36,699. So if I go ahead and click on sell here and confirm this, my bid is listed here. So once the, the buyer price matches this particular price, the order will get executed. So once uh, this the slowly when the prices or all these orders get executed on top of my bid, my bid will come at the top and when the buy price will meet the sell price is when the trade is going to happen. Okay. So that's as simple as that. Until then your cryptos will be sitting here. It will say your open order. So this is your open order that's not executed yet. Okay. And uh, also the crypto from your uh, wallet or you know, your balance will also be are, uh, not reflecting there because it's on your open orders. Okay, so once this order gets executed, you can go ahead and check your balance and you will have a section there which says INR wallet. You will have the money reflecting in your INR wallet. You can go ahead and place a withdrawal request if you want or you can use the same money again. Come back here and uh, place order for uh, more ethers or more Bitcoin or uh, more Ripple, whatever your choice is. Okay, so that is basically how you go ahead and sell cryptos on Coinex. Okay, so hope this video was helpful guys and uh, hopefully I covered all your questions that um, you asked in my previous video. So if you have any more questions, I would definitely love to hear them. Please go ahead and leave the, uh, the questions and comments in the comment section below. And if you're somebody new to this channel, 
please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit that uh, bell button so that uh, you get notified every time we post new videos and I'm also thankful to all you guys for all the support and all the, the comments and the emails I've been receiving thank you very much it's been very supportive and uh, please go ahead and share these videos and uh, tell your friends family everybody as well to come out and check the videos on um, our channel and also check out our website indiecrypto.com because there are a lot of more resources that's coming up there on indiecrypto.com we basically want to make uh, indiecrypto.com a, a one stop for uh, everything related to the cryptocurrencies be it uh, information data uh, education and a lot of stuff so go ahead and check out uh, indiecrypto.com as well so that's it in this video and uh, i'll see you very soon in the next one